once you master this, you're going to be shocked by how fast the things that you're trying to manifest are going to come in. It's going to be incredibly fast and you're going to be so surprised when you start to receive everything that you've been wanting. And it's the way that you think about the way that you think. You most likely have very specific and very strong convictions on your thought patterns and on who you are and your identity. One way that this becomes really obvious is when you start to think about topics like money or true love. If you start thinking about money and the first thing that comes to your mind is it will never be enough or money is evil or that wealthy people are evil, something like that, then that really shows you and proves that you have very strong thoughts and very strong thought patterns about money and about wealth and abundance. So while in your conscious mind you might be thinking, I want to live a wealthy, abundant life, and you might be thinking, I want to achieve more, I want to have more, subconsciously you could actually be sabotaging your own success because deep down you think that money is this very like shameful thing or you think that wealthy people, abundant people are evil. And this also applies to true love. If you think about true love, and the first thing that comes to your mind is true love doesn't exist or it's very hard to find or it's impossible to find true love in the modern world, whatever. If you have these kinds of thoughts that come in immediately when you think about it, then again, that is very revealing. It really shows you that you have very strong thought patterns and belief patterns surrounding this idea and this topic. So while consciously you might be wanting to attract a soulmate or a partner subconsciously again you could be self-sabotaging by having these negative beliefs around the things that you actually want and the thing about the mind is it is so powerful and when you think about your thought patterns and the way that you think you might not realize or be able to admit how strong and how powerful your mind can actually be one thing you might not believe when i tell you is Getting the things that you want a lot of the times almost feels a little bit disappointing because you really thought that it was going to bring you so much joy and happiness and maybe it does for a minute, an hour, a few days, a few weeks, a few months. I think maximum three months is the amount of time that something can truly bring you that very excited, very giddy feeling, almost like a dopamine hit. But usually after three months, things just become so normalized and so ingrained into your life that it then just feels like a part of your normal life. You almost start to take it for granted and it just doesn't bring the kind of joy and happiness that you thought that it would. It won't bring the kind of fulfillment that you think that it would. And I know you probably don't believe me as I'm saying this because you're probably thinking, well, no, what I want to manifest once I have those things for sure, 100%, I will be extremely happy and fulfill but i promise you're gonna get it you're gonna be so excited and happy for a little bit and then immediately your mind will start looking for something else to want something else to desire it's very much human nature and if you can think back on a time where maybe you didn't have some of the things that you have now in your current life and think back to those times and think about how you might have viewed those things like you might have thought once I have these things, once I make a certain amount of money, once I have these items, these possessions in my life, then I'll be so extremely happy and fulfilled. And you might have thought that then, but now in your current daily routine in life, you probably don't think about the things that you possess on a daily basis. And it probably doesn't bring you the kind of joy and happiness that you thought it would. The other thing about the mind is, it can go negative very quickly <laughs> and you might have noticed this about yourself you might have noticed that even though there are so many things that you could be happy and grateful for maybe you're a lot more abundant than you used to be maybe you have a lot more than you used to have but instead of feelings of joy and gratitude and feeling grateful for what you do have it's very easy to think i want more to think oh this isn't enough because maybe in the future i'll want to have a family or whatever and i'll need a lot more it's very easy for your mind to go negative instead of positive <laughs> it's very easy for your mind to romanticize the things that you don't yet have and really completely ignore the things that you do have 
So say you want a necklace, right? You're like, wow, once I have this necklace, I'm gonna be so happy once I have this soulmate, this partner. I'm gonna be so happy, I'm gonna feel complete and satisfied and fulfilled. But as soon as you get it, you immediately kind of disregard that you do have it and you maybe you acknowledge it for a moment, for three months, whatever, you're so happy and giddy. But then the honeymoon phase ends and immediately you're looking for something else, you're wanting something else. So understanding your mind and understanding your thought patterns and mastering your thought patterns is going to get you to a place where you're attracting everything that you're looking for with ease and things that you've been wanting for years will just start to kind of show up. So the first thing that you have to do is veer back towards the positive and towards the gratitude. It's so easy to go negative and be like, oh, but this isn't enough. I still need more. But just take a step back, take a deep breath, relax, calm your mind, and remind yourself to be grateful for what you do have. The more you acknowledge all of the things that you do have, the more you acknowledge the abundance in your current life, the more you will get to be abundant and to be grateful for. It's like sitting in these feelings of gratitude and fulfillment will then allow you to attract more things to make you feel even more grateful and even more fulfilled. The second thing you can do is allow yourself to feel all of those feelings without having the things. So don't wait till you have the necklace, till you have the partner, till you have the job, the career, to then start feeling happy and proud of yourself, to then start feeling grateful for your current reality. Start feeling those emotions now. Allow yourself to feel and practice feeling those emotions because that again will cause you to attract more things that will just amplify those emotions. Basically your emotions are like a magnet and the more you feel something the more the stronger the attraction becomes that will then allow you to get the things that will make you feel those feelings. Another super powerful technique is to take a step back to ignore it (laughs) and to take yourself out of it. So you're wanting something really badly if you are really obsessed with it whatever it may be take a break maybe you go on vacation maybe you leave town (laughs) maybe you just take yourself out of the environment if it's work maybe you just take yourself out of that environment for a moment maybe you go outside it doesn't have to be a big trip but you're just removing yourself physically because that can be very powerful your environment can be extremely inspiring to your mind Being in a new place, being around new energies and new ideas, it can really trigger fast changes in a very short amount of time. And when you remove yourself from the situation and you allow yourself to kind of detach in that way, you're really allowing it to come into your life because you're not so obsessed and so focused on it. I was out of town for a few days recently and I came back and I felt so renewed and refreshed and so much more inspired than I was before and then things that I've been wanting for years just showed up so taking a step back and relaxing and allowing yourself to let go and allowing your mind to kind of linger onto something else rather than the thing that you've been that you've been obsessed with that will allow you to actually manifest and attract it so much faster Okay, that's it for today's little video. I hope that you found value in this. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone who might also find it to be impactful, and I will see you next time. Bye!